already. I only got five minutes to talk about this, so let's go ahead and get started. The emergence of new forms of music has always sparked controversy, as people argue whether these forms of music are actually music just because they did not follow the rules of the music composed in decades and centuries beforehand. An example of a musical genre that really sparked some controversy was jazz. Jazz is built upon the struggles experienced by African Americans after World War I. Uh, there's plenty of discrimination and mistreatment occurring, especially in the South. And while many musical genres uh, of the past met rules or added new additions, jazz completely threw them out the window. Well, not entirely. As jazz went about bending rules musically, it also expressed a means of social rebellion. To the average listener at the time, it appeared that jazz had abandoned all musical constructs and was simply making noise. Those could be bent, and cadences could be changed, and notes could be played completely out of the key. Many people did not like how this new genre challenged rules that had been set in place for hundreds of years, and in many people they saw the methodology of jazz as tossing away years of tradition to make noise that felt good. In reality, however, jazz uses a lot of theory in order to function and requires a lot of thought and musical wisdom. In an article called Boundaries in Early Jazz, Finding a New Music by Scott Applerud, he discusses why jazz may have not been accepted socially as well. He says, In championizing jazz, it is portrayed that music is a corrective to the puritism of polite society. Jazz is vulgar, careless, undignified, and is thus defined by traits that mark it as negative or inverse of respectable cultural pursuits. Yet, it is these very features of jazz that distinguish it as priceless. Its subversiveness offers an antidote to the rigid and false conventions of the dominant culture by providing an avenue for the authentic experience. This is such an important quote because the author is basically saying that the social rules that have been set in place for years, which expect African Americans to be respectful and quiet citizens, are being challenged. And it's testifying for people to just be their authentic selves, become more outgoing and more confident. Because of this, the genre became controversial not just for challenging musical conventions, but also social norms as well. This is very similar to the concept of Secunda Practica, which emerged in 1600. Monteverdi wrote a piece called Cura Amarelli in 1598. This piece was an early version of opera and was based on plays. The music critic named Artuzzi wrote a publication on this piece known as Prima Practica, calling the music unpleasant. He wrote of the imperfections of modern music, his main issue with the music being that the words should serve the music and not the other way around as Monteverdi had composed. In response to this pushback, Monteverdi's brother wrote something called Secunda Practica, as mentioned in class. This essay was written by his brother in response to the publication. His brother said, words are the mistress of harmony, not servant. In other words, the brother completely disregarded the critic's words as invalid and simply restated the words are there to work with music and the new form of music be written as both superior and effective. Just like jazz, Monteverdi's music questioned social normalities at the time. Chromaticism was looked down upon and his piece Crudo Amarilli sure used a lot of chromaticism in order to modulate. While Chromaticism had been around since the rise of humanism, he was now using it to make a new genre of music and make it standard. Many composers at the time stated that his music was subversive, or seeking to destroy the methods of music making set in place beforehand. It wasn't very happy or pleasant sounding as most music at the time, and many people deemed it as a means to destroy tonality. It was socially expected that the music would be pleasing to the ears, at least in a traditional sense. But with this new form of tonality and diatonic expansion, Monteverdi began to change the standard, challenging both musical and social norms at the same time. Despite being such a successful genre, there was still plenty of pushback for many years, until it eventually became common practice. There has always been controversy and pushback to new genres of music, no matter what era of music's history you're, we're talking about. From the changing of roles to the complex dismantling of musical conventions, there will always be a new idea or composer challenging the current state of music. 
like Segunda Practica and Jazz, there will always be opposing views in music. And that's okay. It's all part of the music making process.